All right. So a little bit of a tedious day today. Um, honestly, I more than anyone probably hate these days just because there's no discovery calls going on. We have a lot of tasks, <laughs> a lot of shit to do. So first things first, I need to film three agency ads that we're going to be launching on Meta. Um, that's how we've been getting all of our clients lately um, is just running ads on Facebook and Instagram. So three selfie style ads which is a little bit more raw and authentic compared to the type of ads we've created before. I'm gonna be following up with all the leads who have basically had a discovery call with us, but they just need to actually make a decision. And then I'm gonna be creating one module of our content creator program. So that will be going live inside of our private community by the end of, by the end of February, by the time I actually edit everything. So yeah, and then I think after that, we have like one more module to actually create, and then it's just time to film. So that's what I'm kind of spent um, spending, you know, most of my time doing today. Um, it's 9.30 a.m. right now. It's February 5th. So the goal is to get to obviously 50 clients by the end of March. So the big thing is, you know, what I need to figure out is focusing more so on the income producing tasks of the agency, just because that's what's obviously going to get us a lot more booked calls days like this. They're, they're necessary because you have to be doing some of the tedious work along the way. It is what it is, but obviously where the gold is, is going to be jumping on more, more and more sales calls. So at the end of the day, I'll probably have a look at our Facebook ads, see what's kind of going on there. Um, the reason why I'm creating ads today is because I've started noticing a drop um, in our cost per lead, or sorry, an increase in our cost per lead. It's basically a drop in our acquisition. I'm not too sure what's happening. I think it's mainly due to creative fatigue is what I'm thinking, just because Meta is just a shit show now with how, how many ad creatives you have to create. I think that's one thing is for you guys, like if you are trying to run ads to get clients, it is super lucrative and a very efficient and effective way to get leads. But you have to be okay with making a lot of content because you just have to be making creatives all the time. Um, and then when you start editing them, if you're editing them yourself, great. If you're not, you have to hire someone. It's obviously going to incur a cost. So just keep that in mind when you are considering running paid ads. Um, and that's just one piece of the entire sales journey, right? Then you have to consider, you know, your funnel, your website, do you have a VSL? Um, how many steps in your funnel? Where are you directing people to? So it, it's, it's a pretty big process. So yeah, enjoy the uh, the tedious work day. We're going to be following through the entire thing and um, showing you guys a little bit about what I'm doing today. I gave it all for fantasy. Is anybody going to remember me? If I go to night, I doubt the world will change. I just pray they don't forget my name. All right, so we just finished creating the module for the full-time content creator program. And uh, I just want to show you guys exactly what it is that uh, I'm building here. So... Oh, you can't see shit. All right, no problem. So listen, I'm just going to describe it to you. So basically we are creating a program that is going to teach people how to start just building a personal brand online using, you know, places like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. We're helping people basically build content on it. Um, I've been able to land deals with, you know, massive companies like Monday.com, Google, TikTok, uh, even Meta themselves, right? So I've landed projects with them and I've actually ended up doing campaigns that have landed me inside of Times Square, which is crazy. So we're showing people inside of our community how they can basically make, um, you know, like a part-time income, whether they are working multiple jobs or they're just, you know, focusing on their agency full-time, but they're wanting to, um, you know, make a little bit of a side income. So we're showing people basically how to actually do that. And um, it's all gonna be inside this program. I know it's something that, you know, I still do to this day, do a little bit of UGC content. I do a lot of brand deals um, that don't require me to even post myself. People are just using it for their own ads, their own content. And um, it's super easy to do. Can take a few hours out of your day, but you can be making, you know, 500 to $1,000 a day or per project, right? So it's super worth it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're building in here. I'm gonna flip my camera around and actually show you guys exactly what we're doing. So yeah, this is basically the inside of the program right now. So you can see that we're going through, you know, obviously like some mindset stuff, finding your voice or your audience, planning your attack, all of that. Everything from like the equipment that you need, creating hooks, increasing shares, all of that fun stuff. And then of course, how you can actually begin monetizing um, everything on, uh, on all your content. But yeah, that's what's going to be inside of that program. This is obviously a course that we are launching inside of our private community at, uh, at the agency syndicate. So all of our members who have access to that, um, they're, they're going to have access to that program. But um, anyways, first task of the day is done. Now it's time to film some ads. So um, this is this is probably some this is actually some of the most fun part of actually building the ads. Like I don't like building the campaigns inside of Facebook 
that stuff is very, very tedious. Although this is considered very tedious work, um, it allows me to be a little bit creative. So usually what I like to do when I'm making my ads, the night before, I'll actually plan out all of my scripts um, inside of you know my notes. I'll, I'll take a look at it before I'm obviously filming it just to make sure everything sounds good. It, you know, it's kind of aligned with like what we're trying to what we're trying to achieve. But basically, I'll plan out all my scripts beforehand so that all I need to focus on right now when I'm filming is just purely filming. So then, basically, you know, with these types of ads, because it's going to be in you know selfie mode, I'll most likely be using my iPhone. Um, I'll be using CapCut to basically copy and paste my script. And then I basically just bang out all these ads. So it's super, super simple for someone like me. This will probably take like 15 to 20 minutes max. You know, I'll probably fuck up here and there. Like, you know, it's crazy when you do see, you know, vlogs or videos that you watch on YouTube, like actually how long it, it, it took someone to actually film that just because they're, they're messing up quite a bit. So yeah, I'm going to be filming all those right now. And then basically the last thing of today is, um, following up with leads, following up with all those leads. Um, I like to do it usually around like lunchtime just because I can make some food, send off some emails super quick. And then I'll be taking a look at those Facebook ads as well too, just to see kind of what's going on. Um, hopefully I have these ads actually edited by tomorrow so I can launch them for Wednesday. Right now it's Monday. So I'd like to have these like fully edited by tomorrow and then launched by Wednesday just cause you know, we gotta get, we gotta get some leads pumping here guys. We, we, <laughs> we need to be booking at least if we can book 30 to 40 calls this month, um, that would be ideal from the first month, maybe it's just because it's January, a lot of people are there revamping their, their marketing, so they're trying to get new agencies in. Um, we were able to basically close close to 30% of the actual leads uh, from last month. Like we booked, I don't think we quite booked 45 calls, but uh, yeah, like we, we ended up closing 15 clients. So we need to book at least like another 40 to 50 calls, call it, uh, just so we can close another 15 deals. If we can close our 15 deals this month, and then next month close another 15 deals again, we'll be on really good pace. Um, really good pace for sure to have 50 clients, but to basically configure our plan to reach 75K by the end of March as well too. So hopefully that's not confusing. But but yeah, all right, time to create some ads. Enjoy, enjoy this process watching me <laughs> film these ads. It's gonna be hilarious. What if my Google Ads team came into your business, created an effective strategy behind all of your Google Ads, launched those ads, and inevitably were able to generate more profitable sales for your brand? And on top of that, we did all of that for zero dollars for your first month. You're probably, you probably run an e-commerce brand doing above $25,000 a month, and you're looking to scale profitably using Google Ads. Click the link down below, schedule a call with me personally, and we can discuss if my agency can actually help you scale using Google. All right, ads are filmed. All three are filmed now. See, we're using CapCut, as you can see right here. Hopefully you can see that. Very simple. Auto captions, we're gonna fill in some captions here. Very limited, I guess you could say, editing process here. We're gonna add auto captions, throw it into Final Cut, add a few meme bars, make it look really nice. And then from there, we'll be good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So wrapping up the day right now, it's 1245, call it 1 p.m. I'm going to go have some lunch. But basically what we have done today, so we got our agency ads all filmed. We did selfie style, something very different than what we're used to typically launching. But from what I'm seeing right now, especially across Facebook and Instagram, more organic, you know, authentic content is uh, working a lot better. So we're going to try it with ads see how that performs. We just increased our ad spend to $100 a day as well too. Um, so I'm gonna be monitoring that. Um, got all of our modules ready to go for the content creator program inside the community. And I sent out a fuck ton of emails today. So just following up with a bunch of leads. So hopefully more discovery calls get booked with the increase in ad spend and then see where things go from there. But basically with the ad spend, what we're doing on Facebook and Instagram is once we identify like what our typical cost per lead is or cost per booked call, we'll increase ad spend gradually, usually between 15 and 20%, and we'll increase gradually every two to three days. So let's say our cost per booked call is $50 and we're only spending $50 a day. We're only gonna be ideally, you know, or I guess theoretically booking one call per day. But right now, because we have this challenge to get to 50 clients by the end of March, we're gonna be ramping that up. So ideally, if we can be booking like two calls a day, that would help us out a lot. And um, if we're, you know, if we're closing like three to four deals a week, that would be really, really good. 
that's a plan. Gonna keep you guys updated, obviously, on that. So have all of my tasks written out for tomorrow. I'm going to be um, creating uh, our Discord VSL, creating some zaps inside of Zapier to connect school and Stripe, um, posting a reel, and then drafting a bunch of content for TikTok as well, too. So like I said, very boring shit, <laughs> honestly, but this is just the normal day in the life of, uh, of you know what it is that I'm doing to scale, um, grow the personal brand, grow the agency, and things like that. So if there's anything that you can take from this and what we've done today um it's just you know you just got to constantly put one foot in front of the other and just you know bang tasks out <laughs> as tedious as some of this shit is honestly like these are all these tasks right here a lot of them are tedious a lot of them i hate doing right but it has to get done so um, my favorite part is once we start to see more calls being booked i can actually jump on sales calls that's what moves the needle for so um, anyways, done for work for now. I'm going to go make some lunch, probably head back to the office a little bit later in the evening. It's usually when I get creative, but um, we'll see what happens. And uh, as always, I'm going to be documenting the entire thing. All right. So on the way to the gym right now, but had a quick thought here just because I just opened up an email before we, uh, before I thought I'd send it off to the gym. But right now we have a client who hasn't really been responding that well inside of Slack. Um, we've been emailing them. They haven't really been responding. So we feel like it's going to probably end up being a client that is going to be stepping away um, in their renewal. And it kind of made me think, like, I think a lot of you guys are kind of underestimating the fact right now that client acquisition is never something that you just stop, right? Like, I think I came into the position where, you know, you, you bring on a few clients and you don't want to overwhelm your team. You want to focus on service delivery. You want to maybe pause lead generation for a little bit, get settled in. And I understand where that mindset comes from. But the big thing that you guys have to understand is the moment you stop trying to generate new leads and generate more booked calls into your guys' calendar, you're, you're done, right? Because you literally never know what can happen tomorrow. You never know what can happen next week. Like for instance, this client that is potentially, you know, they've pretty much gone ghost on us. This client that is most likely going to leave they are doing very well. It's not, it's not one of those situations where it's like the client's performance just sucks and we're gonna have to refund them. It's not even something like that. Like they've just gone ghost. Their, re, their, their renewal is coming up and they haven't really been going back and forth with us, right? So we don't really know what's happening. So you do not know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You could be crushing it for a client right now and literally next month, them be changing agencies, right? So use this as a piece of advice for you guys never stop doing outbound never stop doing you know making organic content to drive in new uh new attention to your guys's brand never stop running ads because the moment that you do it is going to hurt you guys drastically and i think a lot of you guys understand that creating momentum is way harder way harder than ma maintaining momentum right so once you have it continue it going continue adding more fuel to the fire again and I, I've been a victim of this so many times where it's like you bring on so many new leads or new clients and then you're like, you know what? It's time to coast. It's time to just chill out, relax a little bit. But that is the exact opposite of what you need to do. You need to get into the point where, you know, you're actually doubling down on your efforts to bring in more clients and more leads into your business, right? So anyways, it's just kind of a thought because right now, you know, we're trying to get to 50 clients, but obviously along the way, we're going to have some else, right? And so this one might be one of those situations. Again, it's not 100% confirmed, but I mean, I just have no idea what's going on with this client. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, but uh, hopefully it helps. I'm trying to hit the gym, blow off some steam, and then back to work for the evening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to wrap up today's vlog. And I got two things to leave you with today because I know that today was kind of a crazy day. It's Monday. Every Monday is always just an absolute shit show. So I wrote them down here just so I didn't really miss anything for you guys. But basically, there's two things that I really took away from today that I'm, you know, want to share with you guys. I've known this for a little while, but I think it just became more relevant today because I'm actually experiencing it. But basically, you know, even when you do take an L today, um, you know, we have a client that is just they're actively a client, <laughs> but they're not responding to us. They removed us from our from their Google ad account. I don't know if it's something that they did, if it was a mistake, but we haven't heard from them. So we're, we're completely blind running right now. So whether you take an L, if it's through losing a client, not getting a task done that you set out for yourself to do today, maybe it's something internally you messed up on, maybe you um, came off a little rash, uh, a little bit rude maybe to a team member, um, it's all good. 
Don't stress over stuff that's already happened in the past. I think that's just only gonna take away your energy of what you can apply for tomorrow. Um, and just take responsibility for it. Take responsibility for it and just be better tomorrow. So if you did do you know, something you know, in regards to maybe hurting somebody else, I would, I would just own, take, own up, take responsibility for it and apologize, all right? I'm not saying that I did that today, but it's just another example for you guys, okay? Because I know what happens. Um, and then number two is just never stop acquiring clients. I know that I was mentioning that to you guys when I was on the way to the gym, but it's so true. Like right now, like our, our agency is crushing it for all of our clients, but you literally never know what can happen um, tomorrow, right? Or the next month. You guys might be doing amazing for your clients, bringing them leads, bringing them in conversions, helping them with content, doing a bunch of stuff, things that you, by your standards, would measure as crushing it for them. But you never know what can happen for a client, right? They could leave you tomorrow, they could leave you next week, they could leave you at the end of the month, and you literally don't know. So my biggest takeaway for you guys today is make sure you never stop lead gen, okay? If you ever get to the point where you're bringing on so many clients, maybe you onboard three, four clients in a month, and you're just like, we can't onboard any more clients, uh, internally, like, you know, the team will get too overwhelmed, that's a, that's a systems issue, right? So you need to figure out how to build better systems to be able to onboard 10 plus clients a month. I don't think you would ever lose 10 clients in a month, but stuff can happen, right? So you just, you wanna build your agency to the point where you can actually acquire 10 plus clients in a month with absolute ease and it just be very simple, okay? So never stop lead gen. If you ever, if you ever come to the idea that like, oh, we need to stop lead gen because, you know, Forget it being overwhelming, but like, oh, we just want to like lay back, settle in, chill out a little bit. That's it's a terrible mindset. It is so difficult to build momentum in your agency. So the moment you build it, keep it running. Why would you build, you know, take all this time and energy and effort into building up momentum just to kill it off because you want to go relax and chill? Like, it's just stupid. Okay. So just don't do that. Just obviously build up that momentum, keep crushing it with your lead gen, keep on bringing on new clients and improve those systems gradually so that you can bring on more clients. All right. That's gonna wrap up today's video. It's February 5th. Ideally, if we can have a vlog come out every day or a few days, that's the goal here with this entire series, okay? So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and week and we'll see you guys in the next one.